Everybody and welcome back to our channel and welcome welcome back to cooking with Lynn on a Sunday and today I'm introducing the Kasori 8.5 litre air fryer two drawers so I'm going to unbox it have a look at it and I'm going to try it out by cooking Robert's favorite pork chops right let's have a look at what's in the box well there you go there is this beautiful beautiful air fryer it's an 8.5 litre so you've got two drawers, uh, it's actually got an L and an R on the drawers, so that's, you've got your packaging inside which I'll go through in a moment, you've got your two crisper trays, you've got a set of skewers which will be good and a Kasori manual and inside this you have got your user manual, you have got um, a shortcut sheet, How, so if you doing like air fry roast reheat you've got a, a bit of a shortcut there and you have got your join the Kasori uh, family right so on the top of here you have got instructions and it says read caution on back because there are uh, there's a heat warning on the back to keep the back of it away from uh, a work you know a, a wall so you always need to pull it forward and it says before you get start, started there's packaging inside as I just showed you so before plugging in remove the basket and discard all the packaging so inside here you have got a toasting rack and another one in that one so you've got your cardboard here don't forget to remove that uh, well I'm going to try the toasting function out first I think so I'll take the strip off there yep same one in here again so I'm going to remove all the packaging wash it all out before I get started so I thought they were both toasting racks so I've just cleaned this one and like I said that is a toasting rack in that one and in this one you've got a brilliant plate to put your skewers on so that's that'll be really useful for doing uh, what they call kebabs in the summer so now I am going to peel this off. Oh, very satisfying. I think I'm going to leave this on um, until I'm really used to it because it has got sink cook and sink finish. So it, it's, a, it's going to be handy to, even though it doesn't look the best, I think I'm going to leave that on for a bit until I'm used to it. Right, so this is obviously the on button. I've turned the electric on. So you've got L and R, so obviously left and right. You've got temperature and time, temperature and time. So you, so you press it once for temperature, again for to go back, once for time, go back for temperature. Same there. You've got air fry, roast, reheat, bake. Now that's interesting. You can actually get this down to 120 degrees centigrade for bake, which you don't get that on many of the air fryers out there. You've got preheat and shake. So I don't know what that does. So we'll try that out because I'm going to do pork chop and some chips to try it out. Uh, sink fish finish, sink cook. So yeah, let's have, get this sorted. So, I did say I was going to leave it on, but I've actually taken it off for safety. But what I'm going to do, because it's sticky, is I'm going to wrap it on there. So if I need it, I've got it. So I've washed it all out. Uh, lovely, beautiful looking thing. Fantastic addition to your kitchen. So now I'm going to go and prepare Robert's dinner, which is going to be honey glazed pork chops with chips and peas. So, for uh, our dinner tonight, we're just having pork chop and chips but it's not just any old pork chop I'm going to do a marinade for it so for this all you need is paprika ground cinnamon garlic salt salt and pepper uh, whole grain mustard Dijon mustard 
and runny honey and of course two beautiful pork loin chops and I've actually bought some air frying chips so I'm going to try those out and see how we go with those. So I'm going to put these to one side and I'm just going to make the rub and the marinade. Another thing that I always do is I line uh, my air fryers. So what you do is take, they're always a tight fit when you first get them, take the crisper tray out, then one for each one, place the crisper tray on up the air fry liner underneath and then put it in. Don't ever use the air like the, the liner on top because it'll float with the air and it'll set on fire. While I'm just doing the second one, the, the main reason I do this is the paper just catches everything that you don't want underneath. So any juices from the chops or groat go through there, any bits of oil off the uh, the chips will go through there, so you just take the crisper tray out, fold the paper up, throw it away, and there's cheap as chips. So yeah, right, let's get on to the marinade. So, in the first bowl, you put in uh, one teaspoon of rock salt, kosher salt, if I can get the lid off. I have already ground a lot of it out, so I'll just put some more in. So you need about a teaspoon of salt and then half a teaspoon of black pepper and what I always do is I grate it into the lid so you can more or less measure it out to what you want so that's half in there then you need half a teaspoon of uh, garlic salt these measuring things are really good there you go half of that one and half of the paprika and put all those in a bowl and then just combine all of that so that's your first bit done and for the second part you need two tablespoons of beautiful runny honey so we just measure that in that's one and two and one tip I will give you is these things. It is made by Tevelo, available on Amazon. They are made of silicon and they are absolutely fantastic for scraping anything out. It's like today I was doing a curry and I was a bit low on my garlic paste that I was using. And I just put this in the little jar. It's like a, the jar is the size of a baby, baby food. And I managed to get out everything, every scrap that was in there. And I know Robert would be very pleased about that because that means there's no waste. So the next thing that I'm using is a uh, tablespoon of Dijon mustard. And one thing, again, with the, uh, the scraper, it doesn't scratch anything because it's made of silicon. You can use it on absolutely everything. It's, it's just amazing. I love it. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Right, so I've got the Dijon. So it's a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. And then a tablespoon of whole grain mustard. Let me give that a bit of a mix because it is a new jar. There you go. So we've got a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. And then into that, we are going to put in, if I can get all that off, can't beat whole grain mustard, it's beautiful. So into that goes a tiny, I think it's something like a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon. But we do like it, so I'm going to put a bit more in. And then all we've got to do now is mix all that up into a, a lovely marinade. Right. So what I'm going to do, because I'm going to cook the chops and the chips at the same time, I'm going to use them both. So I'm going to uh, grill and I want them on 230 on the left hand side. On the right hand side, I want them at 195. So I'm going to preheat these for, so I'm going to put uh, 
So we've got the temperature there. I'm going to put the time for five minutes and the same on there for five minutes. So I'm going to preheat them both. Then I'm going to put the chips and the chops in together. So I'll see you in five minutes. Right, so while that's all preheating, I have patted dry the, uh, the two pork chops. So now I'm going to spray them with oi, just some olive oil, both sides. And then I'm going to season both of them with the seasoning that I made, like so. Turn it over. Sprinkle it all over. Promise you you'll love this. Please let me know in the comments or when you have if you've made these or will you make them. Is it something that you're interested in? I'm sorry that I haven't done many more cooking videos. I am just so busy with everything as well. You know, with the, our YouTube channel and with our granddaughter and going away and life, life just gets in the way, doesn't it? So I'm going to wash these up now, wash my hands, well wash my hands and then uh, wait for these to preheat and I'll come right back to you. So this is like 17, 16 seconds off preheating so it's been on for 5 minutes and I must say the temperature isn't bad at all. I have moved my plant um, because of blowing hot air but everything else that's behind it is fine. But it does say try and keep it 5 inches away from, from like the worktop or anything. Right. Let's start. Right, so now it, it, it's reached temperature. So I'm going to place the pork chops in here. That's one, two. Perfect fit. So I'm going to put those in um, and I'm going to go and get the chips. So these are the chips McCain air fryer, quick and crispy. So I'll flip, put those in there, as so. I might as well use the what's left in the bag. We do, we do have these quite a lot, as they are really good for the air fryer. And I've just got them the wrong side. There we go. So I'm going to place those in. Right, so number one, so left hand side, I want it to grill. And it's nice to see the grill is saying grill and not broil, which a lot of the air fryer companies use broil, which I think is an American term. So 230 and I want to cook those for six minutes. Uh, because they're gonna take six, nine, about 14 minutes in total. So at first I want six minutes. Uh, the right hand side, I'm gonna cook them at 195, press the button for temperate time. So I'm gonna knock that down to 14. So they're both cooking. And I want to cook them both from now. Another fantastic function, so you can see what's going on. You've got a light, and it's a separate light for the left and a separate light for the right. So you can have a look and see how your food is cooking. Absolutely perfect. So, the chops are halfway cooked. So now, what you've got to do is carefully pick them up and brush them. Well, I'm going to brush the one side. I can show you with the honey glaze that I did, honey and mustard glaze. That's one side. And then the other side. And then I use my tongs to turn them over like so. Abs smell absolutely delicious. These cookery programs, you need smelly vision, don't you? Chips are cooking away lovely. And then you want to save the uh, the rest of the marinade because you can pour, pour it over once they're all cooked through. So I'm going to place these back in now for another six minutes. So we'll flip them again halfway through. Uh, and then let's see what they look like. I've actually turned the chips down uh, because they are so near to being cooked. 
So I've turned those down to so they should cook now at the same time. Right. So I managed to sink them to finish cooking at the same time. So we've got honey glazed pork chops and air fryer chips. The chips are absolutely perfect. So what I'm going to do is dish up um, and I'll show you that one thing I want to mention before nothing to do with cooking but to do with cleaning. When you, I've found the best thing I think to clean air fryers. So once I've once they've cooled down after I've dished up and we've eaten, obviously, I spray them with elbow grease and just let them stand for about a minute and then wash them. And honestly, the grease just wipes off with a soft sponge. Absolutely perfect. I will show you before I go how clean I get them. So now I'm just going to add a little bit more of the glaze to the chop and I will add some salad but somebody's very the cameraman is very impatient so I'll see you after we've eaten well folks I've just come back well not long and that was the best pork chop I know it was simple but it was the best pork chop I've ever had you must try that it yeah. is beautiful even to put on a barbecue it would be yeah. absolutely perfect yeah but we need two chops each not one mm, yeah I mean, I had salad, Robert didn't, did you? No. It was beautiful. Yeah, uh, but I think for us, two chops and some chips and more salad. But the, the No, I don't want salad. No, I know, you, I know you don't. But the, the honey um, marinade. marinade is delicious. Absolutely, Absolutely delicious. Yeah, yeah. Right, you can, you can go now because I just want to talk about cleaning. Go on. Right, now he's eaten and uh, he's happy. So, yeah, just talking about cleaning, I mean, it's a bit mucky in there, as you can see. This was the one with the chops in. So, grab elbow grease, because it's brilliant. Spray it, I'm gonna spray it on that, on the crisper plate. Same on the chips, I mean, that's not, that's not bad at all, but, Spray it on there, and then I have let them cool down. I've washed everything else up. Take, take them out, and then I'll throw those in the bowl, that one. This one is really mucky. Do it another little. But I promise you, it, elbow grease, it's so, it's so easy, and it's kind to everything. And, Put that, throw that in the bowl. You can see in there how much the paper liner has collected. So I'm gonna do, all you've got to do is pick it up and throw it in the bin. And you can see in there, I mean obviously you've got to wash it, but nothing like what's collected in there. So I'm going to take that one out as well which has got grease on, but nothing too bad. But it's protected the air fryer at the end of the day. So then all I'm going to do is spray the insides. And that will take no cleaning at all. Right, the, here is one. And I've literally just wiped it over in the bowl with a cloth. I haven't used a scrubber on it. You saw how much was on it. And look at that. Totally, absolutely clean. And that's the other one. So I'm not, I mean, that was the one for the chips. So there was nothing really on that. Elbow grease, I think I buy it from b and I know Tesco's don't sell it. Um, I bought, I buy it from B&M, so, and I think it's about a pound a bottle. Absolutely, get some of that if you can. Just wash these out now and uh, I'll be back. So, there we have the Kasori 8.5 litre dual uh, drawer. What do I think of it? I love it. Absolutely brilliant because so many times I use two different air fryers to cook different things. So with this, you've got the one, 
you can use it to bake, you can use it to air fry, you can use it to grill, absolutely perfect. You can, as I said, you can you can sync the, the meal times so they cook together, so that everything's hot. Uh, like I said before, it's got a grill and not a broil. So many companies now put broil because it's an American thing. You can rehydrate, you can roast. So this air fryer is absolutely all you will need from an air fryer. So yeah, absolutely superb. I can't wait to uh, really put it through its paces now. If you are interested, uh, I will put the links in the description. The Kasori 8.5 litre dual drawer. So yeah, thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, so I will say our farewells, if I can. Bear with me. So, stay safe, fellow caravanners, motorhomers, tenters, drifters, subscribers, old and new. We still love you. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you on the next one. In a bit.